and welcome. I'm the Autistic Modeler, and today we're going to focus in on the Mobius Ford pickup trucks. We've got a short bed here. This one comes with a six cylinder. This is a short bed also, 69 F100. It comes with a six cylinder as well. And this is the newest issue, the F250 Custom Cab. This has got a 390 engine in it. Uh, and the three-quarter ton wheels and some other things I'm going to show you and a long bed uh, This is a great kit. These are all great kits. Here's one. I just finished. I combined a short bed truck and then the 71 that was a previous issue uh, long bed and Six cylinder so I made a 68 Ford Ranger long bed with a six cylinder uh, it's not a variation of the Mobius brand, but with the combination of anything here, you can make pretty much any version you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and look them over, shall we? Let's go. Okay, well, here's the box art. And uh, you can see those three-quarter ton wheels there and long bed. This is a custom cab, F250, so it would have heavier suspension and some other features for a heavy-duty truck. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, well, here is the hood name plates, and they have the F100 and the F250 trim, and they got cab lights right there. And there's our three quarter ton tires. Really nice. There is no brand name on them, but they're very nice. Our glass. I left the glass in the plastic bag. Windshield. Now, when we install the windshield, I'll show you uh, a precaution as you install it. It's easily broken. And there's our red tail light. And then here's a rear view mirror, door handles, gas filler. And there is two 4x4 four four half ton pickup truck hubcaps. Now, I say they have to because if you look at the ones for the kit, they're different diameter. The F-250 has a bigger wheel and accepts a larger hubcap. It looks like they included the 4x4 hubcaps in there as well. And here is our uh, chrome with our bumper. Uh, several different kind of mirrors. Uh, like a West Coast style mirror here. And then these usually go for the Ranger series. Got some chrome valve covers. There's our grill right there. Here's the long bed sides. And it has some molding made on there. And uh, we're going to highlight that as we build it. Looks pretty good. The bed looks pretty straight to me. Okay. And then here is our some suspension, air filter. It's like a tra part of a transfer case there. That's for a different version, so we won't be using that. And then there's our uh, twin I-beam suspension there, parts. And then see our three-quarter ton springs. See how heavier duty those are? A lot bigger than the uh, half-ton style. And then here, here's our wheels. Now, it looks like they gave us uh, four-by-four wheels also, along with the two-wheel drive wheels. So there's something we won't be using, but... We'll keep them in our parts box. And here's our cab. Cabs for all these versions are basically the same. Uh, except for some of them, they got different trim on them and things like that. I do notice with this version, uh, some of the previous versions, the plastic was a texture for some reason. I don't know what they were thinking. It was hard to paint over. But it looks like they've corrected that to a smooth plastic. Uh, so that's a good improvement. Thank you, Mobius. Uh, nice and straight there. No damage. Looks good. All right. And then uh, here's our part of the radiator support. The rear part of the tailgate and firewall. Uh, our steering column there. And then our back of our... Uh, bed box and instrument panel there, right there. And uh, here's our inner bed sides. 
uh, our brakes, pedals, accelerator, clutch, brake, and then our power brake, uh, brake master cylinder there. Door panels and a blade seat. But we could dress that up pretty nice, make this look good. All right, now this is interesting. It comes with the four wheel drive front suspension axle. And then there's our rear axle. So that's odd. I, I don't think you could build this four wheel drive. We'll see as we go and look at stuff. I'm looking at it the first time just like you. Uh, there's our cab floor hood. And this is a fuel tank. On these earlier model Fords, the fuel tank was inside the cab right behind the seat. Pretty interesting. And there's some, uh, like some cylinder heads there for the big block FE series engine. A steering wheel there. Uh, front cover. Starter, I think there. Oil filter. Coil. Fan. Intake manifold, belts, and pulleys. Okay. Now you have an option here of automatic here or our manual. Uh, looks like a three-speed manual. And then our automatic, it looks like a... Honestly, it looked like a C4 because a C6 would be more angly. Uh, I don't know if the 390 had a C4 behind it. I'd have to search back in my archives and my memory to see if that's correct. I'm probably going to put the manual in it just because I like manual transmissions in my trucks. Uh, there's our sun visor, battery, uh, washer tank, jack, some little small hoses, shock absorbers, wheel back pieces there. And then tailgate, uh, our front eye beams suspension frame piece optional like step bumper like heavy duty bumper there's our big radiator now there's the half ton wheels are also included in a different kind of steering wheel with a horn ring button uh, so that's interesting there so it looks like it's possible to make this a half ton at least well you don't have the tires unless you have tires for it so uh, there's our frame. Frame looks a little tweaked, but I'm sure that'll square up. And then uh, there's our big block engine. Single exhaust. Oil pan. Manifolds. Alternator. Carburetor there. Some small pieces. Water pump. Okay. Now watch out. When you build these, they throw in some mystery drive shafts. Uh, you got to have to watch which one you use because there's usually several different ones. Uh, this piece is for your pedals to put in the correct ones under the dashboard. And then here's a manifold, another manifold. Um, air filter from a different version there. We won't, won't use these. And then there's a two-barrel carburetor. And then some other pieces, hood hinges, some hoses. Uh, regular master cylinder for non-power brakes, valve covers, some horns and washer bag right there. Now this is really a treat because these books, these books really do excellent when you read them. Uh, let me show you here. They have nice color photographs and then they, they give the factory colors there for Ford. Uh, that they came in, and then some suggestions of how to paint it. Uh, these, the books, the Mobius prints for these are excellent, very easy to read, nice and clear. They don't miss anything. Tires, wheels, how to assemble stuff in the correct order. Um, these are really great. Um, and th this is one of the best in the business for instructions. I really enjoy these. Let's go ahead and open up decals. All right, well, here's our decals. Let's take a look at them. Oh, these are great. Well, let's flip it over there so you can see it. Uh, there's our engine logos for the air filters. Some 
detail for our side. It says custom cab. And then this label here for the grocery store, I'm assuming, what that? Dashboard gauges, different license plates and tailgate logos and some signage there for the store. Uh, these are great decals. We'll end up probably making like that. I'm thinking about making it like the box. Because I think that's pretty neat. And then we'll detail ours up. And then uh, build it up. This is going to be a full build. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, I'm working on the right radius arm. You gotta install this one first, wait, and then you assemble the left with the steering linkage hooked to it because it has to slide through this opening right here to attach everything. Now, these are really snug going into these pieces. The shock absorber slips up through this upper control arm bracket piece thing here. And uh, you got to really kind of bend it and shove it through there as you're going. So uh, the plastic's pretty flexible, so don't worry about breaking it. Just kind of take your time and work through it. 
and there's a notch at the back here that that goes on so uh okay let's keep moving
Okay, now we're going to do the trim right here. Uh, a lot of guys don't like to use these pins. I think it's really slick because you can just go along there. Boom, done. You got stain of hand. You don't even need tape. Uh, right here on the sides and then on the bedside right here too. It's just a silver Sharpie. You can get them at any hobby store or even Walmart or something like that. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, earlier in the video, I was going to show you how to put the windshield in without breaking it. It's a trick bag. It goes in from the outside. Now, the other windows go in from the inside. The side vent windows here and your rear glass. Uh, I've already trimmed it out with the silver Sharpie. So, here we go. Now, like I, what I like to do is tab it in at the top first. Okay, kind of... Ease it like that. They're going to walk it in. That's It's tricky. It's tricky. Like 
this. Just gotta get in the right spot. Okay, just like this. Like that. See, I told you it was tricky. It's tricky. It's a really tight fit. Without messing it up. I wasn't lying to you. All right, there we go. It's that simple. <laughs> All right, it's that time again. That's right, final assembly. Let's go over what we got here. Well, first of all, as you can notice, I got the interior all done. I went ahead with the black and red. I thought that looked pretty good. And uh, it fit together really well. Came with a speedometer decal. And uh, I put the manual pedals in it, in there vinyl floor mat pretty nice there's our power brake booster and stuff and there's our cab went together very nice you saw me fighting with that windshield and just a previous piece of the video went together nice though on that mat uh, and then here's our heater hoses i went ahead with the west coast style mirrors now, when you do that, you're going to have to open up this hole right here. Uh, it's shown in the back. So all you got to do is just find the hole, push it through from the back side, a little bit of drill, open it up right here. No big deal. And there's some chrome bits to put on, door handles, rear trim, front hood trim, wipers. I went ahead with the work truck bumper. I thought that looked pretty good. It's included. You either get the work truck bumper or... Uh, the chrome bumper, I figured being a three-quarter ton, it'd have the work truck bumper on it. Our exhaust system. And then here's our chassis with our 390 engine and manual transmission. Looks really good. The lower radiator hose actually lined up with the radiator. That's really amazing. Uh, very nice fit. Everything fit very nicely. No trouble. There's our air filter, our front bumper. And after we get it all pushed together, we'll go ahead and put our store decals and engine labels on and things and decide on what license plate we're going to pick. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll have that finished product for you to go over. All right. Stick with us. Okay, well, here it is. It's all finished. This is a 68 F-250 Custom Cab by Mobius Models. This is a great kit. Highly recommend. It went together fabulous. I didn't have any trouble pushing everything together for final assembly. The radiator hoses lined up. The heater hoses lined up. Terrier snapped in. Body snapped onto the chassis. Virtually no glue. Uh, the only thing that bugged me was the windshield. Putting it on. You saw that. Um, and the other thing that I didn't like. It didn't come with labels for those letters. I tried to paint them, it just looked sloppy, and I just took it off. Uh, so, if you can't make a detail look good, leave it off. Because it just looks sloppy and maybe spoil your whole build. So, let's take a look at this here. I put the West Coast mirrors on it, right there. And I added some uh, supplies for his store. Take a look at that. I got some hay in there, and... Some boxes, pumpkins, and there's some Coke cases. None of that's included. I added that on my own stuff. 
and then I used the 390 engine and the three-speed manual column shift transmission. There's our grill. Now, what I did with the grill, it comes bright chrome. So what I did was uh, dull coat it, and I left the dullest because on the real truck, this is aluminum. It's not super chromey. So it's kind of a matte finish, and the bumper's chrome. But I took Future and went over the chrome while it's still uh, after that dried. And it gives it a tone that's not so toyish looking. And then on the rear, I used the work bumper on that. And uh, kind of weathered the wheels just a little bit. I didn't want to, they looked too odd. They were bright white. So, and it looks like he's already replaced the battery. Because that's not a Ford battery there anymore. Looks like an Exide. And then... Uh, the hood fits really well. This is a great kit. Like I said, highly recommended. It could be a first glue kit. Make sure you read the instructions because there's extra pieces that are included in the kit for other versions that don't necessarily belong with it. And other options you can do. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me build this. And until next time, I'm the Autistic Modeler. Happy Modeling.